five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, how are you? It's the Ramble, and it goes from now until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time, and here I am, here we go, there we are. Hello everybody, how are you? Uh, I don't have a guest right now tonight, because I'm trying something, and I want you to... Uh, uh, try it out as well. Uh, it is the uh, the fact that we are broadcasting tonight. We're doing this as a test, okay? And the reason why I'm not running a guest tonight is if this fucks up during the first half hour, <laughs> I can start the show all over again. But what we've got is we've got our um, our, um, um, our show is being broadcast on YouTube as it always is broadcast. In fact, let me make sure it's broadcasting okay. Yeah, there it is. There it is. It's there. Okay. But if you go over to Facebook, you will also see us live at the same time. And uh, you should be getting um, the audio and the video and all of that. And uh, we'll see how many people watch on Facebook at the same time. If this works, uh, I give myself enough ways to fail. Why not this? Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, please, uh, enjoy yourself. Go over to Facebook and take a look at it and tell us how it looks. You can comment on the page and so on and let us know how it's looking. And by the way, I'm, my nose is, <clears throat> it's, uh, hear that? I, I, oh, do I have any, no, oh, I don't have any, I was singing it, I have my Afro in here. My nose has been like this all day. I was at the chiropractor today. I was at the chiropractor today, and what he does is he got that little, that that uh, uh, table. Well, it's not a table. It's kind of like a couch. or I don't know what they call it. Uh, in the old days, it probably used to be in, like, during the Inquisition, they used to have it in torture chambers. But anyway, uh, he puts me face down on it, and, of course, I am down in this little... My face is down in this little well, okay, uh, and it, um, it, it it's in this well, and, and then there's the tissue paper on either side, and I'm lying there, and for some reason in that position, my nose starts to get all befuddled, okay, and problemed. Is it problemed? Is that a word? Is that even a thing? I don't know. Anyway, so uh, I, uh, I, I then have problems with my, uh, with my breathing. And so every now and then, I, hey, we got a tissue. And then he gives me these tissues, and they're like 12-ply tissues, which is fine with me. I mean, the bigger the ply, the better. I'll tell you what we use for tissues around the house. Here's what I use. Well, here, this. I use for blowing my nose. What is that? Well, I'll tell you what that is. Boy, the light goes down. It's not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to have that turned off. Anyway, this is um, a, a bounty paper towel, okay? Uh, and uh, I can blow my nose on these things forever. If I get them all wet and it's like I've had a cold and it's like it's all soggy and everything, just put it over to the side and let it dry out, and then it's ready to go again. <laughs> Now, we take these things, we were mentioning this, uh, and I wish everything in America were made like this, okay? If you're listening to us on audio only, um, uh, I'm sorry. Do you realize I'm running audio here out to the Internet? I am, I'm actually recording it on another system entirely, uh, and then I'm doing this thing out to YouTube and then out to Facebook, Okay, so, and you know how many more listeners that'll get me? About two. Anyway, so where was I? So, uh, the tissues. So, I, sometimes I put them in my pockets, and uh, you leave them there. And then the girlfriend goes to do the wash and forgets to take them out of the 
pocket. Now, you know what normally happens with tissue that you don't get out of the pockets in, the, in, in, your, in your clothes is it shreds, it shreds and is everywhere. You've got like, you know, you've got this, this, this lint thing that's all over your clothes and everything, so you got to like wash them again and hope that it comes off. These things don't fall apart in the wash. They just get washed. So I've got a theory that I only need to buy one roll of bounty paper towels, and then I can go down to the, uh, uh, just take them all when I'm through using them, whether I've wiped my ass with them or wiped my nose with them, throw them in the, in the, in the washer and dryer, and if I'm lucky, okay, They'll all come out just really clean, and I can reuse them again, you know. But so, how come I buy? I go buy the we go buy the big thing of them at Costco and and bring them home, and um, you know, I always had a thing about toilet paper. I've mentioned this before on the show, and I'll, I'll mention it again. Okay, uh, and here's the theory: uh, Do you ever notice that on a roll of toilet paper it says 500 sheets? Or 800 sheets, more sheets, right? We've got 800 sheets, 400 sheets, 500 sheets. Now, that is a sheet is when you take the toilet paper and you, along the perforation, separate it, and you've got one sheet. Have you ever used one sheet to wipe your ass? No, of course not. You take it and you roll it over, about five, six sheets. Is that thick enough? Okay, and then you... Do whatever you got to do with it. Nobody, nobody uses it that, you know, one sheet at a time. If you did, here's my theory. If you did, how many times a day do I take a poop? Maybe twice, okay? I'm an old guy. I like, I like my time on the toilet. Even if nothing comes out, I like being there, okay? So um, uh, where were we? So, yeah, so. That uh, so I I had a um, um, uh, you know I I figured that if you if you did it that way uh, and you were very sparse with it okay you know uh, like I can I can I get poopy here can I get talking about poop a little bit for a second here yeah, I think it's I think it's kind of important um um. I like it when I get the trots, and I'll tell you why. Because it, it doesn't take as much to get that area clean with the toilet paper. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's so liquid that it just it's very easy. But when it isn't liquid and when it's really going at it, uh, we got a problem. Okay. <laughs> So um, uh, I I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying? Am I is this is this too much information for any of you to have? Are we getting audience with this conversation? Let me see here. Well, we don't have that many on Facebook, but we have quite a few queuing up on uh, on uh, i i iTunes. Okay. Well, on on excuse me on two YouTube. <laughs> Man, I'm losing it. I'm just losing it. Anyway. Uh, so I'm, uh, uh, um, I've got all these screens to look at. There's so much of me everywhere. Anyway, where was I? Um, so toilet paper, uh, you should be able to, to, you know, last, it should be able to last 500 days if you use one sheet at a time. But no, no. Somehow that toilet paper, especially if there's a woman in the house, is gone in two days. Two days a roll. I say two, three days a roll, best, okay? And what I always hate about the first part of the roll is they're now putting so much toilet paper on the rolls that if you put them in the normal kind of toilet paper holder, for the first couple of sheets, you've got to, like, roll the thing out because it won't, you'll just get one sheet at a time. Is this more than you needed to know about toilet paper? Uh, hell with it, you know. Let me see here. Here's where my I fall apart on technology. Uh, today I, I had to uh, I had to return something to, to my union, 
And it was to say, hey, I'm still living at this address, and I'm still doing this, and I'm still around, and keep sending the bucks for my pension and welfare, okay? So I had to fill out this form. that They said, you got, you got to send, this, send us this form, otherwise you may not, they just say, may not get your, your uh, uh, pension and welfare check. So anyway, so I filled it out and all of that. And now you, you can either send it back in or you can fax it. And here's where technologically I have turned into a vegetable, okay? I couldn't get this thing to fax. I put in the number and I put in the sheets and nothing happens. And I don't know what I did. I think I changed to color. And then all of a sudden it started dialing and going. But then when it got to the place it was going to, it says, this place can only take black and white. So I said, yes, go ahead. And it did. So now, uh, uh, but I don't know how I got that thing to send. To be very honest with you, no idea how I sent it, okay? I know that sounds ridiculous and that sounds absurd, but I just couldn't figure it out, you know? But I sent it. And uh, now... The thing, then I get a little thing back here saying, yes, it went, and it was okay, and uh, the uh, other machine got it, and so on. But I still don't know if somebody there got it, you know? But then again, I then, to be on the safe side, also mailed a copy of it to them, which was the other option, so that they'll be getting two of these. So just in case, they will know that I still want my checks. But I, 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 I don't, I've never really used fax machines that much. I've sent a couple of faxes out of here. And uh, before it worked pretty easily, but this time uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to get it going. So anyway, um, uh, there's, there's a little gap in my, uh, in my knowledge. Also, last night I get off, you know, I'll tell you about how I get off the air at, uh, you know, at, at midnight here in New York. And then I do a couple of things here to, you know, update the programs and post the programs and so on so that you can get them on various and sundry things. And uh, I, I have to go to a thing called FileZilla, which goes to the server, and then I go in and I uh, put all these things in, uh, in um, um, I put all these things uh, uh, in there. Uh, you know, the programs and so on, upload them and so on. And then there's one case where I have to change the names. And when I tried to change the name, it says, you do not have permission to do this. And I went, I have permission to do it on every other folder. How come not this one? So I can't get it to work. So I call up GoDaddy. Now, I have very little problems with GoDaddy. I mean, the thing, for the most part, works flawlessly. Um... Uh, but I call them, and the first they they what they do is they and I was talking about this the other night, but it was a little different on that thing with my server up in Canada because that guy just didn't even know what was going on. The first guy I uh, I get is uh, and he answers quickly, and I'm going wow, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna get out of here really fast. And he listens to me, and he says, well, I'm gonna have to turn you over to our technical people. Oh, I see. I get turned uh, uh, to the next level, okay? So we go to the next level, and at the next level, the guy goes, well, this is a mystery to me. We're going to have to take it to an even higher level. Please hold. And they put me on hold, and I don't know about you, but if you've ever called GoDaddy, this is a multi-million, maybe a billion-dollar company, okay? They make a lot of money. You would think they could afford decent music, on hold you know at apple i guess because they have the rights to a lot of music they give you the choice of music that you can have do you want classical do you want this and every time you want a different kind you just push uh, like uh, uh, the uh, ampersand or whatever and uh, you get better music but the music there sucks and it's the same thing over and over and over again there are two songs and if you go online there's even and just say um go daddy hold music uh, there is actually a YouTube uh, of that, of that sound, of that music. It, it's terrible. And I'm sitting there, I'm waiting forever. And this thing is just forever and ever and ever. And like, nobody's picking up. 
and then the music stops for a while, so I don't know whether I'm still on hold, and then it starts up again, and then it sounds like somebody's picked up because I can hear some noise in the background, and it's back to hold music, and I'm going on with this for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, and all of a sudden I look over at my FileZilla, and somehow it's working again. So apparently somebody was told, somebody got it working, but nobody got on the line to tell me it was working. So that kept me up till 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay? Get up this morning. See, this, these are the fires I'm constantly putting out. Uh, I, I, I get up to um, this morning, and I decide, hey, I, I, don't, I, I don't check in that often with our... Uh, with our uh, uh, Roku channels because hey, they pretty much take care of themselves and I'm probably going to do a little bit of uh, uh, changing of them and so on to make them <clears throat> better or whatever. But nevertheless, I wanted to check and see how it was working and I go to my, my thing where it says Alex Bennett's Rambled and I go in there and I click last night's show and the thing is blank. The, uh, uh, the play thing is blank. And not only is it blank, but after seeing that for a couple of seconds, Roku crashes. I mean, that my app crashes. Now I get back on, I go to everything else, except for Michael Snyder had the same problem, and it crashed. I can't figure out what this is about. And now I'm spending an hour and a half trying to figure it out. I finally solved the problem. It had something to do with the fact that the the thing that makes up these files that tells that, that well, whatever, wasn't didn't get written properly by the program that was doing it. But, you know, that's another hour and a half of out of my life, and I don't have that many years or many hours left. You know, I'm beginning to think that every day wasted is a day really wasted because, uh, you know, who knows? You know, I mean, I'm going to the uh, uh, guy with the, for the prostate exam next week, and uh, my uh, PSA was up, you know, it was high. Uh, it was up around a six, seven, but it could be higher because I take certain pills which could suppress it. Anyway, I could, I could, I could have uh, prostate cancer, which is not the worst thing in the world because at my age, supposedly, it's usually not aggressive, and they just sit there and watch it. It's kind of, it's kind of like television for a urologist. Sit there and watch your prostate uh, cancer. Anyway, but I'm realizing that, you know, it could be, uh, it could have, a, you know, it could be aggressive and I could, it could be stage four and it could be already infesting all of my body and I've only got so much time left. And I don't know if I want to spend it waiting for tech support on GoDaddy or this uh, company up in Canada, which the name, I keep forgetting the name of the company. I've had, been with them for 20 years. I just don't know. You know, I, I look upon that, and then today with this thing, an hour and a half, yeah, that's an hour and a half out of my life of what precious little time I have left. Am I morbid or what? Who knows? Gee, there are only two people watching on Facebook. I don't know. I wonder if we should be doing this. Uh, are you guys there? What Whoever's there says, Howdy from your South Dakota friend. By the way, Abby and the kids are great. That's from Luke. Uh, and uh, Karen E. Sturdivan says, Howdy, Alex. And those are the two people that are on watching uh, on Facebook. You can go over to Facebook, by the way, folks. We are on Facebook tonight simultaneously with YouTube in what is now the great experiment that if all goes wrong, everything will explode and we will see fire coming out of here and flames and smoke and, you know, it'll really suck. So, anyway, a uh, few items. Um, here, you know, I don't know how many of you are bothered by some of these companies like Amazon, Facebook, and so on. But hundreds of musicians are pledging to cut ties with Amazon. Now, I got to tell you, I'll tell you why Amazon is terrific. Amazon's terrific because of the echo, right? Hmm, I don't know that one. Okay. Anyway, um, 
right? Yeah, I don't know that one. Anyway, uh, uh, no, but then uh, uh, I have what five of them in the house? I have them in every room. I, you know, who knows when I'm going to want to put something on the shopping list, right? And I, who knows when I'm going to want to know what the temperature is, even though I have it on my watch, right? But uh, anyway, so it says here that um, a lot of musicians are angry with Amazon, more than 380 of them pledging in an open letter today to cut all business ties with the company over work of its huge Amazon Web Services subsidiary. The musicians, including well-known indie artists such as Ted Leo, Deerhoof, have you heard of any of these guys? Or I, uh, Damon and Naomi, Zola Jesus, Downtown Boys, and Sheer Mag. I have not heard of any of those. And is it because I'm too old? Answer me that. Go ahead. Be, be blunt and honest. Anyway, the letter organized by an activist group, Fight for the Future, and the public introduction of uh, No Music for Ice was spurred by AWS's plans for a music festival called Intersect. The letter demands that AWS cancel all contracts with independent businesses and government agencies such as Immigration and Customs Enforcement and Customs and Border Control over human rights abuses it's alleged to have committed. You know, I use AWS, believe it or not. It's Amazon Web Services. Don't pay them a penny because you can have so much, you can use them for so much, not a lot. But if it's not a lot, uh, it doesn't cost you a cent. And I use very little of it, but it's that for the uh, uh, Roku channels. Uh, I need to have that to hold some files. They're very small files. And so the company that I go through to do the website, to do the Roku channels, uh, requires that over a certain amount I have to have AWS services, that they don't want to keep it on their servers. They don't have any room for it. And AWS is Amazon Web Services, which is probably one of the biggest web service companies in the country. Didn't know that, did you? You just thought they sent you uh, uh, hot cocoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got more than that going from them. The letter demands that Amazon end work with projects that encourage racial profiling and discrimination, such as facial recognition technology. Um... Let's see, Amazon's connection to ICE is through the database services it provides to Palantir, a data analytics company which has contracts with the agency. The report quotes the musician saying in the letter, we will not allow Amazon to exploit our creativity to promote its brand while it enables attacks on immigrants, communities of color, workers, and local economies. We call on all artists who believe in basic rights and human dignity to do the same thing. Blah, blah, blah. Isn't that interesting? Didn't even know that, okay? But there's a, they're, they're getting all pissy about Amazon Web Services. Huh. I mean, I'm not going to stop using them because I use, they don't make any money off of me, so I don't feel guilty about it, okay? And, uh, you know, Whatever. Uh, let me see here. What all, uh, how, so how are we working? Uh, we're, uh, we're going out. Oh, we got three people now watching us on Facebook. <laughs> Maybe more than that. If you are, just write something there. Hold on a second, folks. I got to get myself. Uh, uh, what is I need, I need a Tums. I started grepping a little bit here. Let me see here. Anti grep pills. Uh, <laughs> I have all my medicine and everything over here. Mm. There we go. Here's the one I really like. I use this a lot. Do you ever use this? After bite? If you get a bug that bites you or something, use that. Pretty good. Anyway. Uh, mm, there we go. Now I'm feeling better. Okay. Well, I suppose it's time for us to uh, start talking to our citizen panel. Uh, this will be some fun. Uh, first of all, I have to open up the Skype lines. Where are they? There they are. There they are. 
I don't open them immediately because some people just call me anyway. And, uh, you know, uh, even though I don't have my little uh, green light on, although the green, oh, no, I see the green light's off. Okay. Yeah. It always is on when I first, there we go. Now we're on. Okay. That little dingy thing you heard is part of, you know, what they what they do over there at uh, um, at, at Skype to let me know that somebody called. Anyway, a cup of coffee here. Mm. Mm. And this is where I wait for people to call. And um, we have um, um, our lines are open. By the way, if you don't know how to call this program, we'd like some new people to call it. It's always nice when we get new people. Uh, you just go over to uh, gabnet.net, and over on the right-hand side of the page is a whole tutorial on how to call us, and it's very, very simple. Using Skype, of course. What do you know? The first person online tonight, ladies and gentlemen. There she is. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Schmoody. Hello, Hello. Kathleen. How are you? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Other people are calling. Wait a minute. I got to, I got to get them online. Let's see here. Okay, here, what does it say? Here comes, <laughs> here, 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 here comes Jeff Stein, and here comes Phil Meyer. And I noticed that Charlie Wallace tried to call. Uh, yeah, here comes Charlie Wallace. Okay, let me let me see here. Okay, uh, let me see. Um, here, there, There's a Charlie. And let me see here. In the number three spot, let me put... Uh, let me see here. Who's in? Uh, who was there last night? Uh, okay, so that was Charlene. So now we'll put uh, Scuba Diver in there. Okay, all righty. And then uh, we got to go get Jeff. Jeff, he, we got to bring up the six pack here, and we have Jeff. Uh, but we have to. I uh, have to change something here. Let me get rid of. Uh, let me get rid of Phil on that yes, one. No. Okay, I I, was I have in the fourth to, spot. You were in the fourth spot last night, and then Jeff was in the fifth spot, but we don't have somebody in the fourth spot right now. I kind of made it, uh, kind of made it moot, as it were, and so therefore, there we go. That's that's what. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the wrong one. I pushed the wrong one. See, I'm such an idiot, such a fucking fool. Anyway, so how do you like this? We're not only going out on YouTube tonight. We're going out on Facebook, so that means we're, we're so lucky. So that'll mean we'll get three more listeners than usual. <laughs> you know, hey, Sparrow, actually, it's you four. Got Twenty watching, huh? You had thirteen before you started talking. I had thirteen before I started talking. I guess yeah. I, I guess I chased them away, huh? Oh, now you got twenty. Yeah. No, I just figured out how I can do this so that I can take the uh, output from this machine, put it into another browser on my pc and send it out to facebook so oh. that oh now we're down to two people why am i doing this uh, <laughs> i got 19 over here no i but, know you uh, got 19 over there but uh, well, now i've got three on facebook but then uh, oh, facebook then when i sign off when i if you go to if you go to hold on a second oh my underpants are riding up on me <laughs> was that due to the chiropractic adjustment? Yeah, my chiropractor didn't adjust my underpants. That was the problem. Wedgie. Chiro wedgie. You, had, you had mentioned the table you were on. Yeah. Uh, does it drop down when uh, uh, when he goes to do the adjustment? Is yeah. there like a yeah. sudden drop? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. called a drop table. Yeah, but and, then he, uh, he also... It makes his life easier. Also, at the end, he turns it up this way, so I'm standing up. Yeah. 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 What's going on with your son tonight, Kathleen? H homework. What? Homework. Oh, homework. I thought you said Hallmark. No. <laughs> uh huh. What grade is he in now? Eighth. Eighth. So that's uh, that's uh, that's a junior. Junior uh, high school. Uh, uh, Oh, junior high school. Let's see. Oh, I see. Seven, eight. So senior, sophomore. So he's a sophomore. So he's thirteen. He's getting bar mitzvah this year. <laughs> he should. He should. Yeah. He'll be a freshman next Boy, year. Boy, you know it's hard to believe he's thirteen because he looks 
he's tall. He's, you know, he's not. a. And, you know, he's getting a little beard and he's getting his mustache. So everybody thinks he's 18. Are, are, the, are the pubes? Well, he'll be the first one to buy a hat. Are the pubes? Yes. Are, hold on a second. Are the pubes coming in? <laughs> They've been there. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. That's all I want to know, you know. When he was like in third grade, he started getting the hair underneath the arms and he was bitching about it. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Was it third, fourth, or what? Well, <laughs> tell him not to bitch about it. You get to be my age and you lose the hair under your arms. It starts growing out your nose. And yeah, your I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why. Do you guys have the same problem you have it, Jeff, where you get losing your hair under your arms all a little bit? No, not yet. Oh, yeah, I'm, I've, still, I've still got some, but not as much as I used to have. It, it's an it's an affliction at GabNet because you keep got to raise your hand to say something. Yeah, you know, and uh, you, you lose the hair under your arm. I see. Is that, is, is that it, Phil? Yeah. Now, I still got the hair because I don't raise my arm too much. Uh, I see. But, you know, my shoulder hurts occasionally. So, you know, it's an ADA thing. Yeah. 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 So, anyway. So, anyway. So, uh, to all you people who are on uh, on Facebook, all three of you, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. You know. Uh, Facebook, huh? Huh? Yeah, well, I, I figured, you know, when I... But the thing is, when I'm finished with Facebook and, like, I, I stop the show and everything... It then says mm -hmm. I have like 200 people that watched it. So Facebook is far better to for getting an audience than YouTube. Nah, they just it's fake news. It's fake news. It's fake. Yeah, Zuckerberg wants you to advertise. I see. And if, if if you if you advertise, you know you can buy uh, uh, on Facebook. They uh, they sell ads. You know, yeah. if you want your content to go to more people, yeah. they'll they'll give you. 20 bucks towards it if you spend 500 well if you people go over to facebook now you can uh, my page which is uh facebook.com forward slash a bennett a b e n n e t t uh you you can just uh, you know you can just uh, see it over there as well you know so i We're just go to find friends and you're the first one or some of the first ones because you're an a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got five thousand friends again. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've always said, I always have five thousand friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I do. There are people that it says you may here are some people you may know and you want to invite. And when mm -hmm. it goes down to four ninety nine forty four uh, four ninety nine or four ninety eight, I then invite those people. And the reason I do it is if I don't do that, I then have a bunch of hookers trying to be my friend. Yes. <laughs> oh, and yeah. and I, I uh, you know, I have enough hookers who are my friends. So, you know, I mean, I don't need any more hookers. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I mean, it's just, it's just a pain in the ass. And Zuckerberg does nothing about them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. I'm, I'm trying to remember... Uh, uh, Listen, if he got, wants to talk, have him stick his head in there and talk to us. You Kathleen. know what I told him? I said I leaned over and I said, Alex has hooker friends. And he goes, What'd you say? <laughs> no. He said, Lucky. Lucky? <laughs> oh, see? You, 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 you're learning how to raise a guy. <laughs> and when he was five years old, mm -hmm. he goes, Mommy. How come when I see girls, my oh, dinker my gets happy? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And then, I don't know. Ow. Well, I oh. think that there's something oh. bad about you as a mother. I've thought said you've been a good mother, <laughs> and and you've you know done a good job in raising a kid as a single mom. But I'm beginning to wonder if this kid wound up calling his penis a dinker. No, that was that was uh, me. Oh, I see. Did anybody Did here ever he call their penis a dinker? Anybody? See? No, no. Ne never used dinker. What What did you use? Uh, schlong. Uh, no, when you were a kid, when you were a kid, when you were a young kid. You, oh, you, young kid, it's pee pee. Come no, on. though, pee pee is what comes out of the wee wee. No, yeah, okay. Yeah. No, wee wee is what comes out of the pee pee. You know what I used to call poop? What I used to call poop? Uh, no, what? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but my mother would always say, "Do you have to go?" Eh, eh? And I'm, uh -uh. I go, uh, uh, <laughs> no, uh, uh, I don't have to go. Eh, eh. So, 
Yeah. Uh, this this uh, is degenerating fast. What? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. show? Hookers and poop. Well, yeah. I did the first half hour I did on toilet paper and, you know, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I don't use any. Uh, you know, I was, uh, you, you were conserving. You got the five or the 800 sheet thing. Do you think you'll outlive the toilet paper roll if you only use one sheet at a time? Uh, I wish I, my I, son would use one sheet at a time because he goes through rolls like there's no tomorrow. Well, does so, he mummify his fingers? Well, so do, so do women. Women go through paper, toilet paper faster than guys yep. do. You know, yeah. I take my paper, I use it, and then I fold it over, and then I use it again, and then I fold it over even into a smaller thing. Until I've got a Cottonelle swab, basically. And then I, if I'm not clean yet, I then get some more. You ever use the baby wipes and then just throw them in the can? What, you know what I, what I do like is the, is the, uh, is the uh, what do you call it? The toilet paper, the, you know, the... Baby wipes. No, not baby, they're not baby wipes. These are adult wipes. You know, these are just, you know, moist towelettes. Yeah. Well, it's got like, alcohol on it. Well, That'll do a number to your enough. sphincter. Well, what were you going to say? What were you saying, Jeff? Phil's not old enough to use that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but the alcohol do a number to your sphincter. No, there is an alcohol in there. It's like Maybe what, in the uh, in the toilet, the little wipes you get from Kentucky Fried Chicken. No, 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 not those things. <laughs> no, those. I wouldn't wipe my ass with one of those things. Because number one, they're not big enough. No, I'm talking about it's actual toilet paper. But it's wet toilet. It's most mo moist toilet paper. I don't know what they call them. So you're reusing the toilet paper? No. Hey, come on. Let no. Me grab that out of the no. Toilet. But it's wet. It's I moist. Can't. So when you wipe your butt, it cleans everything. Well, so your spring. So this. your springtime fresh. I came up <laughs> with this thing for the uh, for the shower. Uh, instead of using toilet paper, mm -hmm. you, it, it's like a shower douche. And, uh, you, you know, it's on a, uh, I've got a 36 inch. So uh, every time you go to the bathroom, you uh, go take a shower. Well, no, you don't have to take a shower. You step into the shower and you wash your rear end. Well, and it's why don't totally... they have, why don't they have bidets for guys? You know, Bidets would be a really good idea. Basically, this is a bidet, but you can turn the pressure up. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is that a bidet is for a woman to clean their 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 nether parts, you know. Well, you mean it, it's also not to, uh, you know, clean the push? Too? It's for guys, too. Yeah, well, yeah. No, well in, when in we Europe, were in Europe and there were bidets there, you never said to me, Alex, you can use the bidet, too. No, she thought it was a water fountain. <laughs> 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 no, it's more like whoo, cold. Yeah, I mean, in, in 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 hotels in Europe, they have like a regular toilet and they have a bidet. You know, it's not like the bidet is built into the toilet. I was wondering why they just didn't hang it on the wall like the rest of the uh, men's rooms. You know. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So, and Europeans couldn't make it to the wall. Really. Well, they had a hard time standing up. So, they what do you think down. of of, of uh, gender neutral bathrooms? Gender neutral? Well, I mean, in other words, that anybody can use the bathroom. You know, because at, it, oh, but at th ball they, games in those they have nothing but stalls. They don't have urinals right. hanging on the walls well, and stuff. Well, at ball games, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, the women take a lot longer to uh, to use the toilet, and the lines are a lot longer. Uh, that I was going to say. That. And I think that they ought to be able to use the men's room. Mm -hmm. If they want to, you know, you got to go, you got to go. Why should, go. and I do the same thing. If I go to Pete's coffee or, uh, and they got, well, now they're, you know, eunuch mm -hmm. bathrooms, but if I go to, you know, a coffee shop and I look and there's two bathrooms, one says women and it's empty, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to grab it. If, especially when I had the prostate issues. Yeah. Well, here, the thing is that, um, uh, I've always felt sorry for women because, like in movie theaters, when the movie is let lets out and they all go to the uh, toilet at the same time, mm -hmm. there's a big line, and guys, you just walk right yep. in, you know. Uh, and I often wondered why these movie theaters didn't have f women's room, ladies' rooms that were They're two times that were two times the size of the men's rooms. But they never do. They're the same. I imagine they're the same size. I've never been in there, at least legally. 
Um, you know, uh, am I right? They're the same size, right, uh, Schmoody? Sometimes smaller. Kathleen? Well, the one here in Tracy Art Theater, I swear the women's bathroom's got to have 20, 25 stalls. Really? It's oh, huge. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know about the guys. Yeah. Yeah. Is it just a row of urinals or what? Do you remember? It's kind of hard. Yeah, it's hard. And he I'll, says it's, his is too. It's the men's is big too. Also, I have an admission to make. I, when I go to the men's room, I have to use a stall. And, and the reason I have to use a stall is that I feel I, my, I, my bladder gets really shy when there's a guy next to me in a urinal. I, I will not use the uh, the toilet in a in an airplane except to pee. Uh, I will not sit down on that toilet. Why not? I I, I don't even want to walk I onto agree. the floor. Huh? I agree. So I, I I that's why I belong. I get these credit cards so I can apply uh, belong to airline clubs and I can use their bathroom. But I go into the handicap one, which is larger, so I can hang up my stuff and and roll in my bag. And how do you think Patrick feels about that? <laughs> hey, let him stab it and grab it, and you know he can use the urinal like the rest of those guys. Yeah, you know. I mean, he you know I mean it's, he needs it right. You know. Yeah. Well, how do they know I'm not handicapped? Or handicapped? I'm a Republican. Well, uh, that's a handicap in and of itself. Yeah. 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 So, uh, I, I, you know, we have we have less people on YouTube than we normally do because some of them are over on Facebook. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that the deal? Yeah, I think so. And then there, uh, here, here's somebody who is is really uh, uh, particular. Uh, Brian A. Neary writes, oh, he says, uh, uh, we are here, looks great, Brian's sounds great, yeah, but then, uh, oh, here we go, Marshall Goldberg writes, and this is a very particular guy, Faith, and how he had time out of his big day to do this and to figure this one out, he said Facebook is about 15 seconds behind YouTube. Okay. Well, uh, Michael Goldberg kicking, yeah. says Facebook is about 15 seconds behind YouTube. So he's got it open in three different places. Michael Goldberg says Facebook is about 15 seconds behind YouTube. <laughs> <It's>, oh, <yeah. laughs> if he's trying to figure it out right now, it's really fucking him up. Echo, 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 <laughs> echo, echo. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anybody else want to call this program tonight? I don't give a shit whether you call or not. I have no place to go. Nothing to do with my life except wait <laughs> on hold with some tech company after the show because something didn't work again tonight. You know? Hey, we, we've got fires uh, in uh, the wine country. I don't, yeah. give, I, I, I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, as long as it doesn't wipe, as long as it doesn't wipe out where my storage is, I'm fine. Well, you never know. If they don't put it out, this morning it had burned 10,000 acres and there was zero containment. Wait a minute. Look at that. Look at the size of that cat. That cat. She's, she's actually small compared to my third cat, Jingles, who's like 15 pounds. He's a big teddy bear. Yeah, but how? she's big. Look at her. Yeah. She's a pretty girl. Yeah. <laughs> a, a customer and friend of mine bought a cat uh, and he brought him into the country. It's called a savanna. No, I have. I, I, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you want to hear? You want to? Wait a minute. You want to hear? A monster. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's like a tiger. Stop, stop a second. Listen to me. I've talked. It talked about this. Have, haven't I talked about this on the show? I don't know. Uh, I um um, I had a uh, um, my girlfriend, my old girlfriend, the one I went with for a long time, broke my heart any number of times. Do you remember her? Uh, oh yes, uh, I, Kathleen. Because Kathleen was the rebound, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but anyway, uh, she broke my heart, and then they, then we got back together again for a short time when I came to New York. She was living in Cleveland by then, so I went out to see her in Cleveland, and she says, "Oh, here's my cat," and it was a serval, and it was huge. I said, "This is a huge cat," and she says, "Yeah," I said, "Boy," and and. I've, she says, very rare cats, savanna. They're called savannas. They're also called servals. And they are a combination of a house cat bred with a, I'm trying to remember the, uh, 
Uh, this is my friend's cat. I know, I know. I've seen them. No, you haven't seen oh, this. Yes, I've cat. seen them. They, and it's and this is a baby. Phil, uh, I've got uh, twenty pictures of of Cerebral. Nine there. months old and uh, twenty five pounds. Yeah, Holy I know. Crap. I I know. I know. Let me finish the story. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I had never seen these cats in my life, and when I went to sleep that night, the cat came up and stood on my chest, and it was like I was in the jungle, and this fucking wild animal was looking at me. I don't think you can... These things aren't domesticated. These things are wild No, they are domesticated, Phil. They are half... um, uh, The Savannah is half uh, uh, a house cat, and I can't remember which house cat they use, and then it is a the vicious uh, one. No, the, and then it uses its its bred with a. Um, I'm trying to remember which animal Tiger. it's bred with. No, mountain lion. Uh, huh? A mountain lion? No, 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 no. It's a it's an African cat. Yeah, these come from Africa, and my fr- and my friend John went there to get this cat, brings it back, mm-hmm. and it's Phil. Uh, he's got Phil, two of them. it's not like it's unusual. Yeah. I'll tell you how it's. I, you, I, I'll so. tell you how it's not like it's not unusual. It's not unusual. Uh, it's not unusual because I then come back mm-hmm. to New York and I, I hook up and get to know Ronnie again. Okay. Um, wait a minute. No, that's not what I. You wanted. had a hook up. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm trying. I'm trying to get Tony on here. Hold on a second. Uh, he's okay, he's, this he's is webhead. Hold on a second. That's big cat. There's another one. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let me see here. Let me um, put him on there. There's Tony. All right, there we go. All right. No, but anyway, let me tell you the story. So anyway, so she has this Savannah or Serval. They're they're known as both. She points down. And um, uh, uh, so I I I'm, I'm amazed by the cat, and it's a huge cat. Okay, now I get to know my uh, my wife again, Ronnie. And Ronnie says, oh, look, I got myself a new cat. Just cost me $2,000, but isn't it gorgeous? And I look and I go, oh, it's a Savannah. What are the chances that I had two women in my life at the same time who had Savannahs? You know? I I think John paid a lot more than two grand for this cat. Damn. Well, yeah, oh, they're expensive, you know. But some people don't, don't, don't think you should have them because they are still partially wild. Uh, and people, when they walk them to walk them uh, down the street, they walk them down the street on a leash, and they Ooh. they go for walks well, just yeah. like dogs do, you know. So, anyway, mm. never. Heard no, of my it. cat, uh, my black cat Jingles is part Maine Coon. Uh, l- let me. Wait, I'm trying to look it up here. Those are big too. You, you yeah. the guy Brian that you had mentioned. He's a friend of the same guy, John the Agostino. Here That's we how go. I a serval. Okay. Car car guy. Sir, <clears throat> wait a minute. Translation from Spanish to English. What is it? What, what, why are they doing the translation? Here we go. Here's a picture of one. Now where do we go here? Uh, they're partially. I'm trying to. I'm trying to look and find out what they are. Okay, Savannah cat. All right, I'll look up Savannah cat. Savannah cat. Mm-hmm. Savannah cat. Oh, it says Savannah cat price. Uh, anyway, here we go. Okay, what does a Savannah cat cost? Oh, oh wait a minute. Uh, kittens generally range from twelve thousand dollars all the way to sixteen thousand dollars. That's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, I think he paid even more than that. Just checking around. Is it legal to own them? Uh, How do you? Get it it, it is not legal to own them in certain states in the United States. Uh, but wait a minute. I'm trying to. It, it's a cross between a domestic cat and a serval. Okay, I, that, that was the cat I was thinking of. Okay. What is a serval? Is that one of those things at the gates of hell? Uh, no. But, yeah, uh, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Right? No, but it's a, it's a part part the exotic serval and a domesticated house cat. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, uh, they could they could kill you, you know. <laughs> there. Uh, let me see here. I have. Uh, let me see. I have one here. Here, here, here. Here you go. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can. Uh, uh, here it is here. playing in its enclosure. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hmm. Well, oh, well shit, here's shit. one. Uh, here's one that's uh, that's uh, that's John's. Hold on a second. That one's a baby. Where's yeah, my screen? it's nine months now. And Wait a minute. Was, here, when here, folks, taken. you can see there. There we go. There's a serval. The audience can see it. That's yeah. a serval. Okay. John says it'll go to nine at uh, thirty pounds. Yeah. Really? That's a, that's yeah. a cat. Oh, it's it's a big cat. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the teeth yeah. on that thing? That isn't, uh, but here, here's a picture of one. See him taking the fish. Hey, here they go. Here. See, yep. the right. <laughs> there, there's a picture of one. Wow. Uh, so you can, you can see what they're like. They're, mm. they're, they're, That's a cat Trump would have. Huh? That's a cat Trump would have. Nothing but the best. Yeah, nothing but the best. <laughs> right. Cat. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's a, that's a, uh, that's a serval. Uh, it's called Savannah, but it's a part serval, part domesticated cat. The but I had, I had my ex-wife, like my ex-wife, and and um, and I, I have pictures here of her cat. I mean, uh, uh, and he lived. She she had him for about thirteen years, I think, something like that. Yeah, and she said he got really grumpy as an old man. You know, mm -hmm. so. But anyway, it's 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 maybe the most expensive, one of the most expensive cats around, and I found them lovely to hang out with. Although, it was funny, her cat, Ronnie's cat. I would ba cat sit the cat when she'd have to go away, and mm -hmm. the cat would stay with me and have nothing to do with me, for like. Yeah, I know, Phil. I've seen them. He's going to feed him. Uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a video. Yeah, well, that's okay. Look at his ears. That's all right. Yeah. He's, he's small. And this is, this is as a baby. Uh, this is five months ago, so, so the jump. cat was four months old. Yeah, at that, I don't know at, why at you're point. so amazed. I've, I've, been, I've lived... Been I'm not amazed. Yet. I wouldn't go near the goddamn thing. No, the cat would stay <laughs> with me and, and not do anything, except he would ignore me and would not like me to go over and pet him and stuff while I was taking care of him, saying, look, you know, I'm, I'm giving you fucking food. You could treat yeah, me a little nicer, like it, so. all right? Well, 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 well. So anyway, so I, uh, 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 this, this cat was just uh, 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 very standoffish, except when I would sit down and start to have to type let, stuff on my computer, work on my <clears> computer, <throat> and then it would come over and rub against my legs. And the minute I would stop typing, he'd go away. I don't know <laughs> what it was. But it but, sounded a keyboard. But it wasn't until the day before she came back that all of a sudden he decided to be pals. And then because I think he knew she was coming back and, and he wouldn't have to be nice to me for too long. So anyway. But uh, you know, and both both women in my life at that time had uh, had servals. So that's that. Okay. How you doing, Tony? I'm hanging in there. Mm -hmm. Have you got mom stuffed yet? And in the, the basement? Actually, I just gave her two Tylenol PMs, so I'm hoping she's done for the night. Well, if she's <laughs> drowsy, <laughs> just stay. point her towards the stairs. Asleep, it's like potty time. Over Man, there. you should have her take this uh, this uh, pergabalin, per which is like Lyrica, and it. Uh, Does it knock you out? This stuff every night it knocks me out. I I do eight straight hours. Don't wake up. I'm fine. The two town OPMs, I noticed I gave her one one time. It wasn't enough. Yeah. Two, I won't see you till, seven, till tomorrow morning. Really? That yeah, bad? Yeah, it's huh? pretty good. Yeah, she, you know, I just put, you know what I have to do for her, though? I have to, she has like a little radio I bought her that makes sounds like rainfall. Yeah, but, oh, I, 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 oh, I see. Okay. So yeah. right now, we got the rainforest on in the bedroom. So that and the town, she's done. Does she yeah, say she that uh, the seashore makes her seasick? Well, she has to hear something. Like tonight, you know, the waves, you know, can, you know. No, don't. She wanted me to put the air conditioner on, Alex. She's a nut. I want to hear the sound of the air conditioner. She says, no, Ma, it's 60 degrees out. People are going to think you're insane. Well, that goes without saying. <laughs> well, they have. No, runs no, in the family. Wait a minute. She has to hear a sound in her room. So I usually put on, like, the radio. Or she likes the, uh, like, the, uh, like, the. Rain or the rainforest, it does all different noises. Yeah. My son sleeps with the fan on. So he likes the sound of the fan. My mother was like that too. She either that or anything it had to have the sound. Yeah, had to have the sound. I'll keep the window open. And well, hear well the reason is it's it's what's called white noise. Yes. Is that what it is? Then? Yeah, it's white yes. noise. It, it it it. I can go to sleep with an air conditioner on, and you would think you wouldn't be able to because they make so much noise. But the noise is white noise. It's kind of neutral noise, you know. 
You know what I sleep with now, Alex, and I've been doing it for a long time. I a leave puppy. on the radio, the news, the news radio, like ten ten wins, mm -hmm. and it puts me to sleep. At night. You, do you know what? You, do you know what kind of? I, I, do you know I what kind of noise? Back. You know what kind of noise? A noise an oyster. What? No. A noisy noise, a noise, an oyster. Um. <laughs> Uh, but I, yeah, I have to have I have to have voices on in the back. I so always like that good. joke, and nobody else it does. Is, Did I ever tell you that joke, Kathleen? All the time. Yeah. If you did, I don't remember. If Ooh. I did, you if I did, you probably would have hit me. Yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't admit. Uh, you know, I I put the CPAP mask on. Yeah. Are you still wearing it? I put a uh, uh, an earplug in. in Will you listen ear. to this, folks? No wonder we don't have any young listeners. Oh, I put on my CPAP, <laughs> and, I, well, got, and then I I'm then missing I my on, fucking toes, my and you know all this stuff. You, you got Charlie. <laughs> I, I put my mouth guard in so I don't break my teeth at night, and then I turn on Gabnet yeah. after the show, uh, and within ten seconds uh, I'm out. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> you know, I got I got numb feet. To toe, uh, Charlie's missing some toes. Uh, 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 who uh, you know? Uh, uh, Jeff is RoboCop for Christ's sake! You know, yeah. I would be afraid. He's he's got all this mechanical <laughs> stuff inside of him, and uh, uh, Phil has no people. prostate, <laughs> and 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 Tony's got a mom who uh, you know tells him to kill he's women who rent the motel the room. Of the stairs for about three four months. Mm -hmm. oh. I got the chairlift now. Hey, what? did they ever come in and see if she's uh, been abused oh, actually, or in good condition? Or yeah, actually, funny you said that. We have the uh, the visiting nurse comes over like every couple of months just to check on us. So I made the appointment for Saturday at ten. She just comes in. <laughs> oh, sure so is it like my my weekend with Bernie? You prop her up in the window and uh, the visiting nurse <laughs> comes by. Know, oh, you know, yeah, there she is. Well, like, excuse me, folks, uh, my but uh, my <laughs> underpants are Mom, riding up. Let's on buy me some tonight. cookies for the lady. Mom, we got enough shit in the house to give her. Come on. We're going to put the intimate cake on the table. She's going to look at you. Don't say nothing too stupid, and then we're going to send her run away. You want to know something, folks? This may yeah. be boring the shit out of a lot of you, but it's sure better than talking about Trump. Did you do know? anything today? I didn't watch the news. You know something? I am. I suddenly realized I am so sick of, uh, of hearing people talk about I Trump. Know. I turn on the TV, and that's all that's going. That's all they say. You know? Yeah. And I, I, who needs it? Who needs it? You know, hey, have a Can Trump you imagine free zone. If he wins again for four well, years? no, but a Trump free zone, no, I wouldn't want him to do that because someday he might do something we really have okay. to talk then about. Okay, then you have a twenty minutes of the show that is all Trump, all twenty. Oh, I got and the, then, I got the, <laughs> I got the latest thing for you. Hold on a second. This, this is the latest Trump, all Trump 20. antic. Are you ready for this? <laughs> have you heard of Summer Zervos? No, what's that? No, is that a cat? Summer's I was are, just well, thinking the same thing. What? <laughs> it's another kind of cat. About Summer Zervos? Yeah. No. yeah. Is she hot? Uh, summer Zervos and Summer not. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, a former apprentice contestant who has accused Donald Trump of sexually assaulting her in 2007 presented evidence Thursday in a New York court filing to back up her claims. Blue dress? Yeah. Something yeah, like that. DNA. Uh, she contacted lawyers about the allegations. Well, no, hold on a second. About, come on. I just, I can't. I, I'm just trying to go up. Okay. Uh, contacted lawyers about the allegations in 2011 and reached out to Fox News about the matter in August. Um, California-based restaurant owner, who is a Republican, is suing Trump for defamation after the he essentially called her a liar following her public statement in October 2016 about the alleged assault. The fact that the plaintiff sought legal counsel in 2011 and spoke about it to others, including a news organization, years before the events of 2016 at issue in this case, strongly supports the inf uh, inferences that her core narrative is true and states the filing from Zervos's lawyer, Marianne Wang, the filing cites emails and calendar entries to back up the claim. Ooh. So, she saved her emails. So how do you feel about your boy essentially accosting a woman and raping her? Was she hot? She was 12 years old. 
12. Oh really? Okay. You know, that's not he bad. Suffered. Trump yeah. denied he assaulting Zervos. In India. He denied assaulting Zervos. He didn't deny having sex with her. He denied assaulting her. With well, a cat? Reasonable. Huh? What did you say about a well, cat? The president does it. It can't. Wait, well. what did you say about a cat, Kathleen? They got to get him on something sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, she's hey, a, Zer a Zerbo. Seriously. They got these people. They come out of the woodwork one after another. If it isn't Kavanaugh, it's this one. Pretty soon, they're going to have people who are going to say that Ruth Bader Ginsburg raped them. You know. Well, now that uh, you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> She was all over me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't know what goes on under that robe. The Ruthinator, as I used to personally <laughs> call her. <laughs> you know. She raped Trump. Really? Oh, we're down to one yeah. person on Facebook. I don't even know why I'm doing this experiment tonight. <laughs> well. How many do we have on, on YouTube? Uh, Maybe they all went 29, to 29. 29. 29. Oh, they probably all went over to YouTube. Mm, yeah. You know. But uh, uh, let's see. I the picture is just the same. It's just as good. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, but it's uh, just I f found a way to do it, and uh, but I don't know if I'm going to do it every night because it's not really a problem to do, but. Why should I go to the trouble for only one? F oh, three people now. Oh, well, maybe it is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> See, by the way, I was looking at. Oh, there he is. There's, there he there, is. there's, there's your son. He doesn't want to be seen. Come on, come on, come on. Put a hat on. <laughs> he's a he's a good looking kid. Not a torment. He's told <laughs> so. Really is, uh, huh? He's really a good looking kid. You know. What, but is he shy to be seen? Is that it? Or is he just being playing hard to get? He's playing hard to get. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, because he's in his underwear. He's in his it's underwear. You. <laughs> You're not in your underwear. You're wearing... Look at what I'm wearing. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look. It's, oh, look. the uniform? <laughs> I got my superhero. You know, know. Hey, you're lucky I'm wearing those. Oh, here comes Phil. <laughs> Phil's got them too. Oh no, he got a gun. Yeah. Anybody Did else wearing them the tonight? You're not store. wearing them tonight, are you, Jeff? What? Nope. You've got a pair of these though, don't you? I do. Yeah. I do. See, uh, see. It's I, issue. And how about how about you, Charlie? You wearing them at all? I'm not wearing right now, but I have them. Yeah. Okay. So He's we should. Not we should up either. Either. I mean, that's not enough yet. No. Yeah, but we should make it uh, uh, required the clothing for this show. Uh, let me uh, see here, and then Tony, you don't have a pair of those, do you? Nine ninety nine at the cabinet store. See, I think that as you get older, there's a moment when you wake up one morning and say, "Plaid sounds like a good idea to me." Yeah. I've always had them. Pretty idea. soon, suspenders are going to sound like a good idea. <laughs> oh, wow. Girlfriend keeps wanting me to get suspenders. Okay. Yeah. And I said, I, I don't want the... I, uh, there's nothing that appeals to me about the Larry King look. Yeah. Yeah. Except uh, the, whole... the fact that you don't have the belt around your waist and it's more comfortable, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm almost ready to go there. Yeah, but I, I mean, on Facebook, we're insane. back down to one person. What is it? There's nothing interesting here to watch. <laughs> Am I going to have Go to start, start running thing. like porn here or something like that? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. well, Facebook will close me down. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, but no, I, so I went to the chiropractor again today, and guess what? You feel better? No. No. <laughs> you, you dropped $110. I dropped $110. I'm a little lighter in the wallet. Right. Uh, uh, I, I don't know whether I'm going to go back. I, have, I haven't you decided. You a different yet. guy. Huh? No. I mean, come on. I, you know, I, I, it's just that it, it, he said. When they it, use a drop table, it's because they're lazy. To begin with, he knows what's wrong with me because he's seen it on the x rays. And he's, he's, he, he, he's it analyzed because... it. No, he did some stuff today. He said, Your back is straightening out. Now, how do Show I know Show me on that? the doll where he touched you. Yeah, no, but... Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> but, but uh, you know, I mean, I, I just don't know if it's working at all in any way. 
you know. Do you think it's more mental then? Like in your head, like you feel. Well, I, I, you know, I mean, Charlie says, "Hey, he he swears by them." Yeah, you know? I've you, never been, failed to get relief. You've yeah. been out for a long time, and you've been in pain for a long time. Do you think they're going to be able to fix this overnight? No, I'm not, I'm not expecting that. I'm not expecting that. I'm not expecting that. But I am expecting a little bit of something. You know? Well, did you tell him that it didn't do anything last time? I basically I said no, no real change from the way I was when he asked me. And, and uh, so he says it's a slow, it's a slow process. What do you mean, about three thousand dollars worth? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have you tried to submit to your insurance yet? Well, she, they submit it to the insurance. Oh, okay. You know, we'll, we'll see. So if are I, you paying each time? Well, if, 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 it finds, if I find that I'm not paying a lot, you know, but if I find that Marjorie on her visits to this guy only gets like, you know, checks for $25 or something. And I, I, if I, but if I find that he's paying for a good chunk of it because of what I've got wrong, then maybe I'll, you know... I'll consider continuing with it to see if it works. But, you know, he says, he says, oh, I see improvement already. Your back is straighter and your alignment is better. And I'm going, I have to take it on your word, you know. Uh, does, does he have uh, one of those machines that measures your hips and, and, and uh, the, to see uh, what angle they're at? No. No? I don't think so. I don't know. Do, do you get up and stand on a thing that he puts no. around your hips? No. Okay. Then he doesn't have that. <laughs> well, Which okay. Doctor? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, I I got a, a guy that what he does is he's got a uh, program. He yeah. rubs this thing down your spine, and then the computer shows uh, the you know which vertebrae are out and which one he's got to adjust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and and there are different colors. Red is very far out, and yellow isn't so far out, and green is fine. Leave it alone. And uh, so they can see exactly what it is, how far it's out, and then they can fix it. Yeah. So okay. Hey, by the way, you, you know who had a prostate his prostate removed a couple of weeks ago is Chris Matthews. Over at, oh, really? over, at, over at MSNBC. Yeah. I turned on the TV set today. That had to be two weeks ago. I turned on the TV set today. He's back on the air. Mm -hmm. Needed the money. You know? I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, and, and you, how long did it take you to recover? It took you a month, and right? Ten days I had the catheter. Uh, I, I say I was out for ten, at least 12 days, uh, two weeks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just, you know. I mean, if they have to remove mine, which I don't think is going to be the case. They're not going to do that to no, you. They're not, not going to reach me. They'd rather see me die. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know. Well, uh, you die every night on GabNet. ta da ta da ta <laughs> Bada boom <laughs> Very funny, Phil. Very funny. Gee, I wish we had more people on Facebook. I could then say it was worth doing. Uh, hmm. Well, anyway. That's all. That's all they're going to get on Facebook. Had it, did you tell your five thousand followers that you'd be on Facebook tonight? No. Well, then why do you think anybody is going to all of a sudden? Well, watch? because because I would have to say it on Facebook, and they're not going to Facebook now. You know, if I go live, they get a thing that says I'm going live. No. Oh. Yeah. So, you know. Mm. Boy, I don't think you've gained a pound since I since I knew you last, uh, Kathleen. Nope. Because <laughs> I got really I got really fat. I got heavy, really porked out, and then I lost I lost uh, b b initially sixty pounds. It's more like fifty now. Wow. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. Look. How do I look? That's impressive. I I must have not been watching you when you were all chubsy ebsy. Well, I'm, uh, no, I might have. I, on the radio. I, I might have actually <laughs> been. Right. I might have actually been a little heavier than this when I knew you. You know. No. Yeah. I mean, do I look? Really? What do, do I look never, like? Do I look like you I were look never then? Never heavy. Do, huh? You were never heavy. Am I heavy? He now? ain't heavy. He's my brother. How do I? <laughs> how, how do I look now? Am I heavy now? I can't tell. Not really. Look. Look sideways. Huh? 
Okay. Heavy, man. Heavy. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> groovy. Uh, you know, I used to say to my business manager, do I look fat to you? And he oh, said... Oh, you used to say that to me. <laughs> what you yeah. Do I look fat to you? And he said, no, but you look fat to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true so I got true. a new accountant. What can I say? You know? <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's see here. Well, what is in... You know, I could say what is in the news, and it's just the same old shit, you know. So, Well, what do you think about that case in Texas with the uh, father trying to fight for custody for his son because his ex-wife wants to start um, giving the seven-year-old puberty blocking hormones? Yeah, the because... seven-year-old is claiming yeah, so... uh, he's, uh, he's identifying as a wo woman. Uh, yeah. or a, a girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm going to mm -hmm. identify as a German Shepherd. You know, I'm gonna be a kitty. <laughs> you got hormones for that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know how to make a hormone, don't you? Refuse to yeah. pay her. Wow, 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 wow. You get that one, Tony? No, you didn't get that. Which yeah. one? No, I don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> Ask your mom. Yeah, you know. I can't. I'm yes. not going to rock that boat. You know what I think is amazing? I've actually got more people on the Citizens Panel than I do on Facebook. That's really interesting. Yeah. Um, but anyway, now I, I, tr I try to think about you know how to stir the pot about Trump and so on, and I'm just so tired with it. I'm so. Are you all exhausted? How about you, Jeff? You exhausted with this whole Trump thing? Well, yes. I mean, I'm trying to. I'm, I try to take a little bit look every day, mm -hmm. and and if it's the same thing from the day before, I just I turn it right off. Yeah. So you know, I'm 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 willing to give it a a 38 second test. Well, today you want something different. What? Just go to Fox. No, no, no. Uh, everybody had a dead corpse on television today. They had uh, yes. what's his name Elijah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. That, that didn't do me any. Hey, well, that was the first time he had his mouth shut in Congress. Oh, shut up, Phil. <laughs> Come on. Come on. This guy was a, this was, this is one of, this is one of the guys that even the Republicans liked. They, they no, really, they did No, they liked him as a person. They said he was Oh, wonderful. as a person, a yeah. Wonderful as a person. congressman? Yeah. Not so much. Yeah. He, do you know he's the first black guy, I think, ever to be, uh, be in, uh, in the, uh, Rotunda of the Capitol, lying in state, you know? Oh, you might be right. Yes, he is. Uh, let me see here. Let me let me go uh, try and get Bree on here. Bree just called in. Uh, oh, he's horizontal. Is he? Oh, yeah. Is he horizontal? Let me yeah. see here. There he is. He's horizontal, but he's probably. And transcendental. Uh, uh, yeah. A landscape kind of guy. He's a landscape kind of guy, ladies and gentlemen, from uh, Malaysia. Uh, it's a lovely and attractive Bree. How are you, Bree? Oh, hanging in there. Yeah. Watching all the craziness in the U.S. media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's your takeaway? Because you're, you're, you know, you're in a position. You're in a wonderful position because you're sitting over there in Malaysia, and all you can go is, well, fuck it. I can watch this for the entertainment. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's absurd. It's like theater of the absurd. Yeah, it's just insane. Uh, yeah, but who, who's who's the most absurd? It's all absurd. I mean, yeah. it just it's just unbelievable. Yeah, um, who's that guy? It, that guy from California that's uh, run a ship. He's pretty absurd. But did you hear? But you know what I don't like, Phil? Phil, Phil, what I don't like. We look like a, a banana republic. I'll tell you. Yeah, exactly. What I don't like about and Trump. And we are. What I really we hate, are, kind of. What I now, really hate about Trump is he's just crass. He is so? just, he's a crass, rude human being. He has mm -hmm. no decent personal qualities that... You know, you'd really like to see the person who's president at least impart some couth. Is that the best term I can think of? Because That's he's not really, what he's doing. He's un he's uncouth, Phil. So what? Yeah. He's crass. Oh, okay. So don't call him emperor. I don't call him president. 
Neither does anybody else. Do you ever notice when you watch television, nobody refers to him as President Trump? I do. Do you You're really? Yeah. I, I even capitalized the team. told the judge that, he, that if he shot somebody dead on Fifth Avenue, no. then nobody could do anything about it while he was president. He said to the media. Well, that's true. That's actually true. I mean, no, they could do something about it. They could impeach him. But then he, he shot somebody. He say, "Prove I shot somebody." Yeah. Right. Trump, you wouldn't have to because he'd come out yeah. and admit it. He'd be proud of it. Bree, him. why is it we're only seeing your nose and your eyes? Oh, uh, this, it's Kill this. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's a weird. I can't explain it, but it's not my regular iPad holder. It's my phone holder that I'm using for my iPad. Huh. Let me see if I can look around and find my iPad once. You, yeah. Use a glass of water. That helps. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I just, I, I, his uncouthness is, it's just he's, you know, he used he used the word bullshit the other day, you know, okay, because yeah. well, a lot of it is. Well, well no, I'll tell you, um, I don't, I would not say bullshit. When did you become such a fuddy duddy? I'm not a fuddy duddy. No, I but think. Alex, do you think we could ever go back? I mean, oh, no. Could you imagine the next, you know, some of the things I, I don't understand some of the things they'll say about someone. And I'll be like, wow, that's nothing. That's nothing compared to what Trump has done. So the next president can just say, oh, that's you know, that's not a big deal because that it was worse with Trump. So let's just move on. I yeah. think they should get Andrew Dice Clay to run for president. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trump. Yeah, Trump took his act to be president. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. No, but I mean, I just, I, I don't know. You know, I like. I, I, there's a certain thing to be said for civility, okay? And I think he has made this country uncivil. You know, just by his actions. You know, because when somebody's president, they set the tone of the nation. What? <laughs> I'm just sticking my nose in the air. Uh, you Why know. you're looking like Mussolini? Yeah, well, you know, you want you want <laughs> civility. Oh, it's tea time. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, the that's not the point, Phil. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, no. yeah, you just don't like the way he communicates. No, I, I he doesn't communicate, <laughs> Phil. That's he grunts and he farts. That's really what he does. He that's reminds, what it sounds he, like to you. I mean, how, how, how do you, uh, Kathleen, how do you like the fact that this guy is president and your son watches him and his actions? Actually, my son doesn't watch him. Oh, okay. No. And, but, you know, and, you don't have to worry about Trump shooting a gun. His teeny tiny little hands couldn't hold <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you listen to Marco Rubio now? <laughs> This is why I hung around that woman a lot. You know, it's little stuff like that. God, you, make, you used to make me laugh a lot. We had fun. Yeah, we had some fun. But, uh, but you, know, you know what it is, Alex? It's what? like you said, Phil, you have to admit, he really, doesn't he come across as a show-off and like he's always throwing it in your face? Yeah. He's like the guy you don't want to hang around with after. It's like, this guy is an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, no. I Not mean, too many the, people are hanging around them, but it's it's okay. And everybody's quitting on him. They don't even want to be with him. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of people that just don't want to have to be making excuses for his behavior. Yeah, that. Yeah, you're right. That could definitely be because it's like, and you know what? He can walk away from the presidency, and he'll be just fine. You know what? These other people, they their their lives are ruined. Yeah. Yeah, you don't even want to be associated with this guy. Yeah, I mean, if they go, I, if, if, if on their up. CV, on their CV, they list, uh, I work for Trump, <laughs> I oh, think no. that's it. Don't fly, throw, that in, throw that application right in the garbage. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, yeah, and thank I, you for coming yeah, by. We'll, we'll, we'll be in touch. You know. I'm thinking about changing my little resume that I, you know. Your CV? My CV and say, I never worked for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you don't know. Yeah. Do you still make do resumes? No. I mean, me personally. Actually, I never did a resume. Usually, I was just hired. You got to send a tape. Know. What? No, I never. I a uh, very few times. I never. I never got a job I auditioned for. I always got jobs that I didn't audition for. 
because when you auditioned, they didn't hire. But no, hey, no, no. They, I mean, I got asked most of the time <clears throat> to come places and to work for people, and I didn't. Uh, I, I, the thing I always said was once when I was out of work, as I said, I don't know what to do because I don't know how to handle things when I'm out of work. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to look for a job. You like to work. Yeah. This chiropractor, this oh, is geez. what his what his machine looks like. Yeah, you see the green and uh, the yellow. It, it shows you uh -huh. which vertebrae are oh, out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And oh, I'm sure and, that uh, that's yeah, all that, done with this that, wand. That, 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 yeah, that, that really spine. that really looks like a, like an X-ray of sorts. It looks like a fucking cartoon that somebody drew. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, what it good. does is it... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you believe which, that, don't you? You believe it. show them anything in there and then say, here's the bill. <laughs> yeah. Here's it's the, the Bacchinator 3000. It's the Bacchinator 3000, <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Kathleen. What were they telling? Yeah. Just show them anything, you'll believe it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How uh, come my skin is black? Oh, that's the by wrong the way. Question. By the way, <laughs> one person is watching us on Facebook, and I suddenly realized it's me. Oh, are you watching yourself? The one person. Oh, you're the only the one. one person is me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are oh. you watching it on Facebook, uh, Charlie? No, no. That's a, oh, you you know, said you're the one is, person watching. Is anybody there watching it on, on Facebook? Uh, Any of you guys? I will be in a minute. Oh, okay. okay, because I want to see if you suddenly watch it, if it goes up to two, or whether okay. that number is bogus, which I've often suspected. Well, let me yeah. let me let me get there. Well, uh, yeah. where the hell is friends? Uh, <laughs> I don't have any. See all friends. Yeah, uh, there, there you are. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now I got to scoot yeah. down yeah. to yeah. to the thing. Okay, there it is. Okay. All right, I just hit the thing. Okay. Still is at one. Yeah. yeah. Keep keep watching it. Let's see if it goes to two. I just I just put it on on the phone. So yeah. And it's running? The video's yeah. running? Yeah, the video's running. It's still at one. Does it say one on yours? Uh, let me turn it so I can see it. Um, uh, no, it, it's on. I'm on the phone so uh, with that, so I can't... Uh, well, now uh, two just came up. Oh, okay. So so it, 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 they're not That's lying. There was just one delay. person listening to me. Oh, yeah. Me. So what? one is me, two is you... That's that's yeah. yeah yeah there it is yeah well yeah and it's moving people are moving yeah yeah well anyway I I don't know maybe I'll maybe I'll do this a couple of nights and see how how if we can get any kind of audience with it does it cost extra no <laughs> okay then do it you know well, and, do unless what? it's going to make you nuts to it's you know, just to I'm do it what I'm doing work. here is I'm patting my head and rubbing my stomach at the same time yeah. you know mm -hmm. uh, you know I've got. I've got the, all the um, um, stuff going over here because I have the output of this going in to the PC through NDI. And then I'm sending that picture out to the Internet to, uh, to Facebook. So, Hey, uh, did you notice Bree's got something in his light fixture that looks like a butterfly? Well, it you looks like by his, by his yeah. ceiling, by looking up at his yeah. ceiling, it looks like he's trying to crawl out of that place. Yeah. No, what, what, what is that? Is that a picture or something? That... Yeah, those are pictures on the wall that are just reflected into it. Oh, into the thing. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, so, Bree, how, how's your job going? Well, it's going okay. Um, you know, I, I've been here now, what, two months, and um, I guess... One of the things is that uh, when people sort of expect that you know things that you still don't know, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of in that phase. So I often have to ask people to spell out acronyms, and I have to remind them that I don't know all the things that they know. Uh, you know. So What's the I biggest to... one? B B Y O B. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, how, I'm how also. Are your kids? Uh, how are your I'm, kids and wife uh, adapting to Kuala Lumpur? Oh, fine. No problem. Really? So, there, there was no... Um, I The thing for me is that I'm learning. I've sort of known my strengths and weaknesses over the years, uh, and they're just coming back to me you know, now to, to in, because now I'm more in an administrative position, and I, I am not... Uh, I have to come up with new ways to organize things because... 
you know, when you come into a new office, it's it's different, you know, and I'm using different technologies and, uh, you know, and uh, we're sort of in between this mode of using hard copies versus soft copies. Everybody wants to go paperless, mm -hmm. but then, you know, and, and I also have to figure out who needs to be informed of what and who needs to be in on what conversations. And so uh, that's that's my dilemma right now. And a lot of people go uh, away, um, you know, for business trips. So I really need to meet with them, but I can't. And I, and it turns out I should have scheduled it. You, know, you have that before. Outlook calendar. You know, there's, there's a company in Germany that was on the news this morning that they're going to a five hour work day that they get yeah, there at eight that. in the morning. Uh, their meetings are limited to 15 minutes. They uh, leave at one o'clock mm -hmm. and they got to leave their cell phones and all their social media in their backpack. They're not allowed to break them out. And they're saying that they're much more productive than when they were working eight hours and they could look at their cell phones for three or four of them. Right. You know, well, there's a lot of this going on. And, you know, I was thinking the other day, like, why do we work Monday through Friday? Why not just Monday to Thursday. I mean, why not have a three day weekend? And, you know, and in Dubai, it was kind of like that because we worked, I worked Sunday to Wednesday and I was kind of off Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I liked that. I, I felt I was more productive. Was and, that because sun, Sunday was, uh, or, or one of those days was a day to work, not, you know, and, or the religious day that you'd have to take you off? Know, I think if I ran a yeah. company, mm -hmm. uh, I would do that. I would probably give my people a th uh, three days off. I would stagger them so that I had a full crew all the time. But that people, I think, who work less are more productive when they are working. Yeah. You know, I've because wait, now, let me finish, let me finish what I was saying, Phil. Yeah. And what, what happens is if you overwork people, then they have a tendency to kind of like uh, 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 slough off Get part of the honest, time. Slough off honest. part of the time so you're only getting four <laughs> days work out of them anyway. You know. I, well, I, I recently I turned my schedule at the store. I've got people coming in at 10. I got people coming in at 8. I got some to come into 10 and they're there till uh, 2 30. Yeah. And I got others that come in at 12 30 and they're there till 5 o'clock. And, uh, and, and then there's uh, one day a week that they work the whole day. Yeah. And then Saturday's 11 to 4. So they have a, week, a day off during the week. They yeah. got Sunday off. Uh, Saturday's a short day. And. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, but I just think that if we out. work people, if we work people less, uh, the time that they spend working, they will be more productive. Yeah. I agree with that, Alex. Because you know, when I was working in a stupid warehouse, I don't mean it like that. You get burned it, out. It was a know. stupid you warehouse, you and you hated that texting? job, and you hated your uncle. So admit <laughs> I, it. Look, I, didn't hate I, him I, 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 I can say. Uh, that I can't Tony, wait for that funeral. No <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> Tony was texting. I'm going in my fucking pajamas. I can't wait for Tony that. Tony did you know. nothing at that job except. I never hey, hey, let somebody get a laugh for a second, Phil. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, no, you're right, Alex. I just, I, I'm not just agreeing with that. Phil, he's right about this. I think if you worked less, you would be more productive. Yeah. Because after a while, Sometimes. you're not. Well, because you're going to. You, let's say you work eight hours a day, five days a week. People tend to not work all those 40 hours. Exactly. They well, kind of slough the off and whatever. Off and if you gave them, say, a 30-hour work week, the fact would be that they would work much harder during those 30 hours because they would be refreshed. You know, yeah, they're just grabbing out. You know what's He's funny, uh, Alex, for yeah. here is um, I had to file for a business trip recently. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, you know, you have to go through... Every every place has its own system. Mm -hmm. uh, so I found the, you know, I have to do, one of the procedures is you have to find three quotes and then you turn it over to the approved travel agency and they find comparable, you know, and they, they double, triple check it. So the one place I picked, they, they came back with uh, two comparable hotels, mm -hmm. which they thought were comparable. Mm -hmm. And... They, in my view, they were not. So I had to go round and round with the finance department to explain the definitions of comparable and business. Mm -hmm. One of the hotels, um, the review, the, in fact, I have the review because I, I took it out. Yeah. And I said the travel agency didn't do their, their due diligence because they were saying a two-star was comparable to a four-star. 
And I was thinking, okay, you know, maybe a three star would be a compromise. But the review said this is the hotel that the agency want the approved agency. The hotel is very bad. There are people who use drugs and thieves. I do not recommend living in it, even if it is free. This was a Holy so God. you know this was the kind of hotel that they were telling me I should stay in on my business trip. And you mean that wasn't a five star <laughs> review? <laughs> you got to lock everything in the room. And <clears throat> No, yeah, well, you know, I mean, so they wanted you to stay there. Well, that was the recommendation. Yeah, did you they, show they them saying, that? Like, did you did you did you again. show them that? Yeah, I did, and then suddenly, uh, I was able to get the three star as the compromise. So I wanted a four star. They said a two star. Ultimately, it became three star. But my point to them was, and and is, they don't have their policy doesn't state uh, how much that you can spend on a hotel on a business trip, yeah. which I think it should. You know, it, they tell you the rate if it's within the country, but right. they don't say overseas. Yeah. It's just at the discretion of the big boss. And I thought, that's a waste of the big boss's time to have to go in yeah. and approve or not approve every single hotel room for everybody making a trip. That's can ridiculous. I, can I recommend a book for you if you're doing a lot of administrative stuff? It's what called it? The One Minute Manager Meets the Monkey. So it's 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 the same guy who wrote the one minute manager, but this one is the one minute manager meets the monkey, and it has to do with people trying to put tasks on the manager's back, and then eventually the manager becomes in, uh, ineffective, and uh, he's doing the work for everyone else while everyone. Well, else is I guess Oprah things. had her book club, so you can have well, yours. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. I, what I told them it was like is Jimmy Carter scheduling the tennis courts. Yeah. You know? uh, the one minute manager meets the monkey. Okay. Definitely recommend right. it. It's only about okay. seventy pages, but oh, well, then it's yeah. the kind of book even Trump would read. Yeah, big well, and it's got pictures. <laughs> he gets it on tape. Does it have big print? <laughs> it's got pictures. Well, what was it? There was a great line on uh, who's the, who's the guy that comes on after Fallon? Um, uh, oh, Seth Meyers. Seth Myers. I like he him. said that. Uh, <laughs> um, um, he said he, he called Turkey to tell them that uh, they should call off the war. Uh, and they told them that he had called the Butterball hotline. <laughs> oh, <yes>. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I, you think Trump is that stupid, Alex? Like, if you talk to him, you'd be able to figure, like, you could probably put something over on him. I don't think he's terribly bright, you know. I mean, I think that uh, if you were to compare the IQs of uh, Donald Trump, say, and... Uh, a chimp, the chimp would win. <laughs> See, Phil? Trump became the Phil president was... of the United States. How how, how dumb is... can he be? That's how dumb he is. Americans no. voted for him. They That's probably... not his fault. That's true. He, it's he ran a campaign fault. and he won. And, and he's going to no, win he, again. He won. Big time. He won. He's going to win he, 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 bigly. He didn't win by numbers. He's going to finish he, this he, term. Big league. He's, he's going to finish, and he's going to win the next one. He has to. There's no other choice. Well, I mean, look, he, I, I I agree that he's got a good shot at winning the next one because he's got to have a competitor first. That and, is and, and what true. we're being offered we now is getting Somebody's a little on the weak in. side. Oh, Hillary uh, has uh, to the end of the end of the uh, year. Al Gore. To, uh, to, to be able Hillary's to not going to do it, Phil. She she hey, had it. If it's if it's Hillary, then his campaign slogan is going to be "Punt the cunt." Oh, Ooh. he That's... couldn't even grab her by the pussy. <laughs> well, then again, who I would don't who think would want? She has one. It, well, oh, she does, but it's uh, it's it's got bats and mold and you know. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, no, but I mean, who who's going to run? Who's you know? I mean, l let me put it this way. Mm -hmm. I think a, a, a trained chimp could probably beat Trump in the next election with all the heavy stuff he's got going into it. Don't say a word, Phil. I, I think it's very winnable. But I don't know if it's winnable by just anybody. I don't think that, I hate to say this, but I don't know if Elizabeth Warren has been poisoned uh she but, did it to herself. No, no, she didn't do it to herself, Beto Phil. No, wait a minute, let me finish. Let me finish. It, 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 she has uh, been poisoned, poisoned by the public or to the public 
by the inference that she's so fucking to the left. Well, look, I'm really to the left, and I don't think she's that far to the left, okay? You know, but they've been, they've been giving that inference. Oh, she can't be elected because she's too far to the left. And I don't, you know, I mean, if people say, hey, I want to give you um, medical care and things like that, you know, Phil's got his hand up sheepishly. Yes, Phil. She jumped to the head of the line. And she uh, she put people off. She doesn't have any anywhere near the black vote, except for Charlie's. The, uh, she does not have the black vote. She does not have the uh, the uh, American Indian vote. She doesn't have the minority vote. Uh, that uh, uh, for oh, instance, oh, and that, Trump Trump will get the minority vote. He'll get more of them than 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 her. I believe that uh, that uh, Bloomberg is going to run. I believe that they're going to go to him uh, before the end of the year so he can get on all the mm -hmm. ballots, and I believe that it's going to be Bloomberg. Well, now you'll have a chance to vote for a Jew. I can't see hmm? You have a chance to vote for I a could, Jew. I could have, you know, supported Bernie and had a sort of a Jew. Well, you know, uh, uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah, you're right. How, he uh, 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 could, could, could Bloomberg give Trump a good run for his money? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't think he'll want to run. No, you think he'd want to give everything up to run? Well, no, they've been say, talk, talking. He's, he he mentioned that if Joe Biden got out of the race, he would jump in, is what he has said. You know, and yeah, Biden don't look like he's going to be around very much longer. Yes, Bree. Uh, Beto O'Rourke had a comment in one in the last Democratic debate that um, I thought was kind of you know, hit the nail on the head when he, he said something to the effect that Elizabeth Warren seems to be punitive in <clears throat> in a lot of the, the ways that she approaches things. And uh, to that degree, and she, she said her response was, I'm shocked that anybody would think that I'm punitive or something like to that effect. And I thought, really, really, how could you be shocked if one of the challengers on the stage, you know, voices the opinion of a lot of people? I, I I see that as well. She comes across as uh, that she she wants to be punitive to some. She you know, comes than... across like an elementary school teacher saying, Johnny, you sit down and get in the corner and wear that hat. That's the way. Well, she comes I don't across. feel I don't uh, I don't know that she comes across that way. I think the problem is. You're, you, you, to begin with, you're, you're coming at it with a prejudice because she's a woman. Yep. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yes, I'm you are. Definitely, a woman. Definitely. I mean, I mean because if, you expect, uh, you expect, look, if you expect a woman, I mean, how can you, how can you even, my ear was how running, can you I'd even her. find her unacceptable and yet you find this oaf? Donald Trump acceptable. Yeah, that is, I mean, that's what I find. Listen to what he says. You I listen. listen to I listen to. I listen to what he says, but he ain't saying shit. No, you, you just don't like the way no, he no, says no. it. No, no, no. You want to shoot the I, messenger. No, I don't like. Do. I don't like my president being crass, being rude, being a bully, doing tweets yeah. where he's calling people assholes and things like I don't that. Like that either. But you okay, know, well, if you don't uh, like, I like it, him a lot more than Obama. if you don't like it, then you shouldn't put me down for not liking it. Well, I don't like those things, but I like what he does. And I think you're going to see that most of the country thinks the same way I, I do. I, I think that, you know, it, 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 it's a question. Listen, it's really a question of, of the Democrats coming up with, the, with, the, with a good candidate. And they don't have one. Yeah. You know, Michelle Obama, they've mentioned, and she doesn't want it. God, she's having a great time now. She and, and, and Barack are having some... You know the kids are out of the nest, and they're traveling around the world, and they're having they're they're running companies, and they're having a good time. They're really enjoying their post presidency. Uh, so she doesn't really want to, you know, doesn't want to jump in on that deal. You know, uh, Hillary. Uh, I don't think anybody wants Hillary. I don't think anybody thinks Hillary is a good idea. Uh, I mean, this is number three uh, now. Uh, she president. lost that election. She lost, not even, you know, she's not, trying to not, blame everybody. She's trying to blame Tulsi Gabbard, and she's trying to blame, uh, who else was it? Bill. Uh, uh, who was she it, Jill blamed. Stein? No, Hillary, you lost it because you were not a good campaigner. 
You know, if if when Trump was circling around her at that debate, if she had just turned around and said, would you please sit down? This is creeping me out. She would have won the fucking election. I doubt it. No, she would have shown some gumption. That's what she would have shown. And she them. didn't. And it, ter- it was terrible, you know. And, you know, she had some medical issues. Didn't she collapse oh, going to her she did car? Collapse and Nobody yeah. said a few happened. other yeah, things. Well, let, let's be honest, Phil. Uh, it's, it's not easy running for president. Unless Bernie you're, Sanders can do it. Bernie, yeah, yeah and not have a you heart know, attack? A week later, <laughs> he's back on the thing, and he looks good. Yeah, except for what he says, but you know, you he, know. he looks good and he looks strong. Yeah, um, you know, I mean, um, I'm going to sound morbid. Huh? Well, can I say? So I'm going to sound morbid for saying this, but if we woke up tomorrow morning and you heard the news, Donald Trump died on the shitter. I think we'd all be happy. I think he will die on the shitter. To be honest I think with he, you, I could see him squeezing it out because they say yeah, most people die on the shitter, pushing it out too. Really? Place. Then I'm not going to the toilet as much as I have been because I'm not going to risk. I'm not joking aside. He he could do an Elvis, Alex. I could see him. I think the country would <laughs> really be happy. He, he could do an Elvis. Blue was over hey, and had a who's, stroke. Tony, who's knocking on your door right now? <laughs> nope. Are they wearing black suits? Not yet. <laughs> I got, the, I got the alarm. But, Phil, I think, Alex, I think the country really would be happy. I mean, I don't want to see anybody die, but you wouldn't lose sleep. You wouldn't miss breakfast all over him, I well, can tell you that. Yeah, what did you say, Jeff? Uh, wait a minute. You, we can't hear you. Even Phil's laughing. He'd have a good time. What? He'd probably run a rug, rug sale. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Now, unmute. Orange rugs. No, he's <laughs> muted. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there we are. What were you saying? Would be very happy if he died. That would be a good deal. Being, I mean, okay, know, let's all take a, a vote here. How many would be happy if Donald Trump died? I mean, I don't wish it on him, but I wouldn't be losing my sleep. Yeah. So, my oh, head. come on, he Kathleen. I don't you, care if he dies or not. I would say he did it to himself, the stress of the job. The stress of the job? Yeah. What yeah. stress? He doesn't do well, shit. He doesn't do time. shit. He watches Fox all day. That'll do it. You know, <laughs> w- w- probably watches Judge Judy, but not anymore because she's for Bloomberg. My mother watches but, it. All she does, yeah. she look, she's looking kind of sick now. How about that? I think she's got a wig on. Who? I, who, I who? 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 Judge who? Judy. Is that a real hair? <laughs> My mother watches it. I don't know. I never watched Judge Judy. Do you watch Judge Judy? My mother does. She yell, I yeah, yell, yeah, 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 blame your mother. Yeah, my mother does. Yeah, I've heard that <laughs> I, I one before. Oh, you got just one TV. I, I I'm, I'm just TV watching TV. the uh, the porn to get an education. Yeah, right. <laughs> is that how it's done? Yeah. You uh, watch The Price is Right in the morning, too. I kind hey, of you can learn a lot. Well, I used to watch The Price is I'm Right. The, I'm the only I watch one that watches too. I like him. decent Me TV. Too. I watch King of the Hill. I like King of the Hill. That's how you feel he is King of the Hill. Nah, Hank oh, you, Hill, Peggy I love Hill. King of the Hill. Well, he yeah, thought you know, it was the King of the Phil, is what he thought. No, and, uh, no uh, he, he sells propane and propane accessories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn this. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, I just think that uh, the Democrats have a real problem I mean, right now. I mean, it's that their three front runners really are not... Not... Uh, there's one That's other problem. Hurt. What? The, the nation is seeing the do nothing Congress, and they're going to throw those bums out too because they haven't done anything except try to impeach Trump oh, since the day I, he got I elected. I don't think they're going to throw him out. Look, uh, Phil, I think you better realize Pelosi's looking the, for a job the, right now. The, no, she's, she's not. More. You got to realize that uh, that uh, Trump has seriously damaged. The the, yeah. the Republicans, the you know, Republicans are gonna lose even more seats in the House, and they're gonna lose the Senate next year. Uh, yeah. Pelosi's got a future in floor covering sales. I'm yeah. telling you, yeah. <laughs> she's gonna retire. She's old. One yeah. more facelift, she's gonna have a beard. <laughs> My mother likes this. She, she keeps this. This is mine. She probably got a maid. Yeah. Catherine's got good comedy. She's oh, Kathleen. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, that's why I, I hung out with her. You know, know. <laughs> and we had Practice farting it. contests and punch buggy and yeah. 
was uh, it was uh, fun. Yeah, we we had some we had some good laughs, you know. Uh, but um, mm. though I remember you got mad at me once, and we were in the middle of the street in the no in North Beach. I thought you were gonna fucking kill me. I mean, you were just. I got wow. scared. I don't know what the hell it was. I don't even. I don't remember. know. It was probably some bullshit thing, you know. Yep. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, it was. It was. It was. We we had some fun times. It was. Like we we palled around good. That that's the the way to describe it. We palled around good. You know, you know who sent me a real nice message? Um, a couple years ago was Greg Gorey. Oh yeah, yeah. Thanking me for being, you know, because he and the rest of the interns were so young. Yeah. And you know, and they it was just a really sweet. And what was he thanking message. you for? He was saying thank, you know, thank you for. He hit me up on Facebook and just um, let me know what he was up to and that he was down in L.A. Um, and he had a radio show, and that he just wanted to thank me for being so kind to him, being protective of him when he was when you he was working for you, and you know, feeding them at times, you know, because they were all starving interns. Yeah, well, I fed him. I fed him too, and I've never heard from Greg Gorey since I left that station. Mm. He can write you, but he can't write me. He couldn't find you on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I was just surprised that he even remembered me. Really? Yeah. 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 No, I mean, it's, it's surprising. I mean, he got a hold of you, but he's never gotten a hold of me. That's, you know, that's, weird. Th that's what's surprising. But then again, nobody, very few people ever say nice things about me. So, you know, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it, it's sad. They've all forgotten. It is sad. They've all forgotten, you know. I'll tell you the, the one. Maybe he owed you money. Huh? Maybe he owed you money. Could be. Could be. Yeah. No, actually. That's one way to lose a friend. <laughs> I, did I hire him at one point? I hired him at one point, didn't I? You hired me. <laughs> what a fucking mistake that was. Was I paying you, Phil? Was I paying you? You actually recruited. Asked me. No, was I paying were you? Were, was I paying you? Yes, and the only reason I took the money was it was my only paying gig in radio. What did I, so, where, where did I pay you from? Who paid you? Camel. Uh, oh, KML I, was. I, I got I got a check from Century Broadcasting. Oh, okay. So yeah, so that that that's very good, you know. But I wasn't paying you. I wouldn't pay well, you, you for shit. I wouldn't even pay. I wouldn't pay even me. pay you for floor covering. Yeah, <laughs> you never <laughs> did. <laughs> you never had. To. But uh, no, Century paid me. Yeah. Okay, so that was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They never paid me. No, no I didn't pay you, but not very much. <laughs> not very much. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I went off when somebody came along. I'm very loyal, you know. Yeah. Because they took me when I was down and out, and I needed a job, and they they mm. let me have my way and to become a, a a name in San Francisco. And then when somebody offered me a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars a year, I went bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, but they upped you to 75, huh? didn't they? They no. upped you to 75 at Camel. Yep. They went, at Camel. He went in at 35, I yes, think. Yes, at Camel, they, they raised me to 75. These guys came along and offered me 125000 And do you know who the middle guy was? Uh, what's his name? The guy who's the head of... Uh, the head oh, of, you uh, say Carmisen. Uh, no, 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 it wasn't oh, Mel Carmisen. No, it was... Uh, it was uh, which station? Camel? Oh. No. The, the Quake. Um, uh, the, the middle guy, he was the head of MTV at the time, and now he's the head of, uh, of, of, uh, iHeartRadio. Uh, I'll remember his name in a moment. And he, I get a call from him and they say, oh, so-and-so's on the phone. And I went, wow, MTV. They're calling oh, me. They shit. want me to work at MTV. I would be cool if you got an MTV. I always like that. Well, you know, when you want to hire somebody away from somebody, you don't uh -huh. exactly go to that person. You use a middle guy uh -huh. because he's not going to get sued for taking you away, but you're uh -huh. asking on behalf of your friends, would you be interested in talking to them? And that's what he was calling me about, that he Is knew that these the guys. Is that the JFK deal? No, this was the K K uh, the Quake. Oh. This was the Quake deal. Oh. No. Oh. no, WJFK was Mel Karmazin, but that was years later. 
But mm. uh, they uh, they came along and uh, said, uh, you, you know, he said, would you like to meet with these guys? So I, I met with Remember them. Remember that radio station? Yeah, yeah, yep. Mm. Uh, K-O-M-E, yeah. K-F-R-C. Well, how about wait, wait, K-Fat? It, there's nothing there from a radio station I worked for. Oh, just hold your freaking horses. Okay. <laughs> okay. You didn't give away swag. <laughs> there we go. There's a quake. Oh. Right? Uh, well, hey, remember Kink? Kink? I think that might have been Washington. Huh. I, I used to have a quake. The, oh, uh, Camiel. That I worked for them. Turn it around. I though. had you a belt the, buckle uh, that well, looked like that. It's, yeah. It's one of those reverse. Oh stickers. yeah, it was. It went on the rear windows of cars. Uh, yeah. yeah. Was the Moroso uh, guy? Moscoso, who was my who was my cousin's husband. I had a belt buckle, a camel belt buckle that the yes. guy that used to be in charge of uh, camel stuff. Yeah. Or uh, Swag, gave yeah. me. Yeah. And yeah, I had I one of those, and I don't know, I don't know where mine is either. But yeah. my a cousin, my cousin's husband, created that. There's a live one of five window sticker. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. she's got. Why you? Why you save all those? Man, you know I have this. I have she doesn't a, have a car yet. I have a bunch of. <laughs> Stickers. Oh, Heidelberg beer. Well, you know. Uh, Contra? Uh, wow. Peter Kiewit and Sons. That's what my dad worked for. Hey, listen, by the way, I want to thank all the three people who are watching tonight, two of hey. which are Phil and I, uh, on uh, on Facebook. <laughs> uh, all you people on YouTube. Nice uh, crowd out there. We had a, a pretty good amount, I think. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. 32, yeah. 32 right. We, well, yeah, that's, but over the night, we may have more than that, you know. I yeah. can only yeah. tell when we're through. But you didn't advertise, did you? No, but I would have put it on my Facebook page, so the same people who didn't come to my Facebook page to see the video would not have come there to see that I was going to have the video on there. So, you know. But it, it, this little experiment went without putting much. Uh, eh, it's not putting much pressure on my system. Uh, you know, what, uh, CNET. CNET. You know, these are all the people I work for. I work for CNET too. Yeah, I know. I got that sticker from you. Yeah, yeah. And I it, never listened to you when you were on any other radio station other than CNET. Really? You know, e yeah. E even even a camel, I was busy doing stuff, so I, I wasn't listening to the show. Yeah. I was answering phones, pulling carts. Yeah. But at uh, uh, when you were at CNET, I used to listen to that. I love that that, that show. Well, yeah. I it, it's uh, I think one of the more interesting moments of me trying to take shit and shine it, you know. Uh, well, it, was, it was so much interesting stuff, and it was at the beginning of the tech revolution, and you know, the stuff was so new. No, it wasn't at the beginning of the tech revolution because while was I was close. there, the entire thing came down around our, around our, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, let's face it: you can't sell dog food on the internet. All right. Yeah, yeah. but you can get an area Arian share on the corner because your dog, your dog <laughs> wants to eat now. That was the lesson we learned from that you period. Be time. Proactive. Hey, listen, the theme is playing, and I've got to sign off of both uh, of our uh, of our things here. And and for all those people that hate me, it's going to be Phil free tomorrow. <laughs> really, <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, uh, doing security for, uh, for a synagogue. You're doing the yeah. You're doing. <laughs> You do. Why does that sound like that? Yeah, you're, you're, I, you're, I just you're, I you're, bought you're, 300 you're, bullets uh, uh, oh, tonight. Oh, Jesus nice. Christ. There's 100 of them. Uh -huh. oh, I okay. got to load my mags. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, you're gonna, he's going to drop his load at a, uh, at a synagogue. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you, Kathleen. Great seeing you here again tonight, Schmoody. Good having you here. You know, you're, you. you're a funny fucker. You really are. Uh, and uh, a good night to your son. He's there. Say good night. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Uh, yes, uh, thanks. Uh, th thanks, Tony. I appreciate it. Thanks to uh, um, uh, our good friend, uh, 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 Charles. Uh, Charles. Uh, thanks to Jeff. Thanks to Phil. Thank and thanks to Bree. Thank you, Bree. Everybody. Yeah, give a big wave goodbye so they can see you go away. All right, I'll wave back, too. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. 
That's our citizens panel. Let me get rid of them. So the next show, which is Jack Bishop and the uh, interte- the intersection, can be up next and do their little little uh, frivolities. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night, same time, uh, right after uh, uh, Damien at uh, 9.30. We'll be here at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, uh, if you happen to see her, you know what? Tell her I love her, okay? Bye bye <laughs> <laughs>